Defiant Season 2, Episode 3, The Cord and the Axe. Definitely one of my favorite episodes of the season so far. It's only the third, of course, but I definitely enjoyed this episode. I think just like the last one, it had an amazing ending. I enjoyed this one uh, a lot more than I enjoyed the last ending because in the last episode, it was pretty cool. They actually... It seemed like it was going down a very different path, but things really progressed in this episode much quicker than I figured they would in the season. But in the last one, the light killed the guy, uh, Skeever, and he vomited, and it was like he's taking his steps toward being more like his dad. And then this episode, it was kind of the opposite of that. He did that, and he hated it, and he finds out that he's actually going to become a father himself. And he goes to Detectar, and he's basically just trying to get a blessing to leave the family business and his father doesn't give him that blessing and they are they were in a really bad state at that point and then of course uh Daytag gets out of prison when the scientist i wish i could remember her name but uh she gets him out of prison and sorry for the sound this fourth of july so you'll be hearing a bunch of noise you can probably hear the music now but that's why there's a bunch of noise this fourth of july so sorry about that but he gets out of prison she gets him out and i'm excited that she got out of prison um also i'm glad that she's able to she's going to be able to just put her finger back on i thought well that's she got it cut off at least she can put it back on but they both get out of prison they just walk to defiance i actually thought that was funny but it made sense because they're prisoners it's like why are we gonna you know waste time on you but they walk back and at the end of this episode Daytag gets in the tub, he's with his family, and he tries to drown his wife, or at least he teaches her a lesson, because if he wanted to drown her, I'm sure he would have just done it, but he wants his wife there, he wants his son there, and it was sort of a show of force, a show of dominance, like, and he even said it when he came back, he said, the master returns, and that's a powerful thing to say, so I don't know how things are going to go in the next couple of episodes, but I'm very curious to see how him knowing everything he knows he's already shown his uh display of dominance at the end of this episode how is that going to progress throughout the rest of this season now that he's already back because i didn't think that was going to happen for quite some time i knew he was going to come back because that was just obvious he couldn't just be in prison there would be no real story there he would have to come back at some point but i thought Alak was going to sort of rise to power and accept his position of of power and be more like his father based off of the end of the last episode and then in this one it's actually the opposite he completely regrets that and him finding out the whole family thing just changes everything so it was really interesting to see that i was just completely wrong I, it was the complete opposite of what i thought was going to happen he just accepted his role he wanted to get out especially when he found out that he was going to have a child he really wanted to get out and he had no problems with his mother being in charge at that point it's like well i didn't really want to do this to begin with and now i have my own family like i have a child coming in and not just a wife i really want to get out of this now but we'll see how that progresses throughout the rest of the season but i really enjoyed the ending and before the final scene we get to see a lot more in this episode of what's happening with orissa and what this device slash alien thing is inside of her and of course this is sort of my speculation moment because we don't get anything but glimpses we got the largest glimpse when she tried to kill herself which was a really gross scene when she did it for one it shocked me that she actually did it i thought that she would either be spotted by someone who was physically able to stop her or somehow uh the spirit that she sees would be able to mentally stop her but she actually kills herself temporarily and she has this vision and i don't know if it's from the past or if it's just a random thing and i have to guess that it's from the past because it was actually her but if it wasn't her because they don't say names so it could technically be someone who just looks a lot like her and it's just the same actress and it's like that's technically your real mother or something like that but it seems like it was her and she they never really get into details as far as uh the species and how they age differently and stuff like that so she could look like a teenager to humans but she could actually be much older they never gone into any of those specifics and not that i remember at least so i don't know if she was there long before things got really crazy or if they're the reason things got really crazy who knows but it seemed like what was happening is that the people who were killed were kind of put into these pods that's what i initially thought like somehow they were put into these pods in some weird 
meta dimensional type of way or whatever but based off of the vision she had of her talking to this random guy on a spaceship i think that what we got to see are kind of just different uh devices that have landed on earth and Arissa's kind of patient zero for the devices so she has like the main one and then she's spreading them to other people which we find out in this episode is exactly what's happening because none of these people are actually dying like we thought they were they're basically having power transfer it to them and then they go off and kill other people and it just spreads it's like another alien it's like an alien virus really so maybe that was the plan that Arissa had she was initially meant to go to earth and kill these people her and her the group of people that she was actually with and whoever she's talking to the guy they realize that this is kind of crappy we're just going to end up killing a bunch of humans off just because and that's when she decided to seize the ship and that's when things kind of go crazy and she loses her memory and somehow becomes a part of this whole big prophecy but i'm really excited to get more answers on that um I was glad to see that the guy actually lived at the end of this episode. I can't think of his name. But the guy that she kind of got guidance from in the last season. Because it was cool to see him. And then it was like, oh, he died. That sucks. Because I actually liked his character. Because he kind of brought something unique out of Arissa. I didn't particularly like him as a character. He was okay. But he brought a completely new side of Arissa to the show. And that's why I liked him so much. And I thought he died. But fortunately he's back he may or may not be different because she just kind of took off and i guess people know what happened to them but they're sort of under control of the device or, and maybe like i said with Arissa sort of being patient zero she can make them do what she wants them to do so we'll have to see when he comes back into play how they interact with each other because that'll really show whether or not she's able to mentally control them or if it's just the device itself but either way this was definitely a great episode we got a, a couple of other little things uh the mayor is kind of making more moves on the former mayor i really wish i could think of her name but i always forget it but she was having withdrawals and she went to the mayor to get the drugs that she needed because she was having withdrawals and she didn't know how to handle it and she was just losing and she was going insane she almost beat up that guy well she did beat him up actually he really lost but she wasn't going to stop until no one pulled her off so she went to the mayor and who knows what that's going to do he's going to have a supply for who knows how long and he's going to use that to manipulate her in some way and of course he as he put it to no one he fancies her so he's going to use that to get closer to her and that's only bad news because he's clearly a bad guy but it was a really good episode we got some interesting stuff uh, as far as the Daytac Tar Alak stuff that's going to be very important for the series especially with Alak having a child and how that affects uh, his father-in-law and obviously his wife that's going to affect two fairly important families who one of which and that would be um Alak's father-in-law I can't think of his name either his family of course has kind of gone downhill after his sons died and the E-Rep people came and took over so he's just a regular worker now he's not as rich as he used to be but it's there's still big powerful families within Defiance so it's gonna have a real serious effect on the series and how things change within the city so that would be cool to see of course any explanation as to what's happening with Arissa and why the people seem like they're dying and then we find out they're not dying any answers on that i'm looking forward to but i definitely enjoyed this episode love the ending to this one like i did with the last one this one was much better i love how they had the music going it seemed like everything was actually going to be just sort of mysterious like oh i wonder what's going to happen and then they had the final scene and it's like well yeah that's not that wasn't too surprising i thought he was going to wait till next episode but he did what he had to do but great episode can't wait for next week of course comment below let me know what you guys thought of it your favorite parts your least favorite parts and what are your speculations as to what's happening with Arissa? do you guys think it's a virus do you guys think she's much older than the characters in the show think she is what do you guys think that she's spreading this i guess device to other people within the uh, around the world i guess comment below let me know and thanks for watching